Hey guys. So I felt like I needed to update you guys on how my relationship with my stepson's mom has changed. So in the first video that I made regarding having a stepson and talking about, you know, visitation and how things were going and I don't know why the color just changed. Um, but basically what was going on um, with my stepson's mom, we were go getting along just fine up until last weekend when it was time for him to come with um, my husband and I for for the weekend for visitation. Um, sorry, my phone just acted retarded and told me that it updated for the third time. So, um, anyways, last weekend we were supposed to go pick him up. We were going to pick him up at one o'clock in the afternoon because he does virtual school. So he does school at home online. He goes through K-12. So, um, he gets done at like 1230. 12 or 12 30 so we were going to go to his house and pick him up we told his mom that we were going to be leaving our house at 12 30 because it takes about 20 25 minutes to get to their house from where we live i have the hiccups sorry um so at about 12 30 um i had my husband text his mom um his son's mom i should say um to let her know that we were going to be on our way to come pick up Jacob. And she decides to tell us that he's not at home. They're not at home. Um, now, mind you, I already didn't think it was fair that we have been going to pick him up every weekend. And then we also have to drop him off every weekend, which I do because I want to spend time with my stepson. And I know that my husband wants to spend as much time as he can with him. So I've just been doing it. However, I don't think it's fair that we always have to go pick him up. We always have to bring him back. So it's it's frustrating because they always use the excuse that they don't have enough gas money and um the problem with that is we don't have gas money either like we've been seriously struggling to the point where for the last month month and a half maybe even two months all we've been eating is rice and ramen noodles because that's all that we've had money for and then like last weekend when jacob was here um he has pica so he always feels like he has to be eating something. And the problem with that is we haven't had much food at all. And last weekend, all we had was two boxes of ramen noodles. So um, the boxes had 12 packets, packets each, packets. Um, so there was 24 packets of ramen noodles, the single packs. Um, and Jacob, when he makes ramen noodles, likes to use two packets at a time. So by the time he was gone, we had five packets left and this was on Sunday and we needed, um, we needed to somehow stretch that into today, which is Thursday for me and my husband to eat. So thankfully, we were able to borrow some money for from my mother-in-law, but that's another story. Um, so she basically told us that we needed to go pick up my stepson and Gary. Now, the car that I drive does not belong to me, and the owner of the car does not want the car in Gary. So I can't go pick him up in Gary. Now, what really irritated me was I'm sitting here... Like, we were already driving. We were already in the car. And I'm asking my husband, where am I going? Like, I don't just want to be driving around wasting gas not knowing where I'm going. Because she just said, you know, oh, we have to go to Gary now. So I got really frustrated because I like to know where I'm going before I get in the car and leave the house, you know. Um, 
And so I'm sitting there telling him to ask them for directions, telling him to ask them, like, can they meet us somewhere? Because I'm not allowed to go into Gary with the car. And um, as soon as we got Jacob in the car with us, he says, oh, well, my aunt said that you were having an attitude or I can't remember if it was his aunt or his mom said that I was getting an attitude with my husband. And at that point, yes, I did have an attitude because first of all, you could have said that, you know, you weren't going to be home. You could have said that, you know, we don't need to come get him from your house. Like you could have said this way before 1230 when we had already told you we were leaving at 1230. You know, it's just frustrating. Um, so that happened. And then ever since then, it's been like, you know, Jacob's mom and I, would text back and forth and it was never it didn't ever feel like hostile and now ever since then it feels hostile and now like they're threatening my husband because he just recently started a new job so um i believe when he quit working at kfc because that's where he was working when he quit working at kfc i want to say that was in july maybe the first week of August, but I believe it was the last of July, um, the last week in July. Um, so he wasn't working. He worked at this other company through a staffing agency and he worked there for like two weeks, if that, and he quit because it wasn't for him. So he went from steady full-time employment, paying child support out of every single check to, you know, not really having employment and so child support wasn't getting paid well now they're threatening my husband saying they're going to call the prosecutor and all this other stuff and i'm like dude why are you doing this like that's all they talk about and it irritates the shit out of me like i get it he needs to pay child support he understands that but he literally got his second paycheck from this job today so you know it literally hasn't been that long because the first paycheck he was already halfway through the pay period so he hasn't even been working there a month yet and what really irritates me is the fact that they're threatening him but like they say that you know all these things about Jacob and it just really it makes me sad because like, I don't see Jacob as a paycheck. I don't see him as a way to make money. I see him as a teenage boy who is becoming a man who needs, like, all the opportunities that can be put in his path to succeed in life. And I feel like he's not getting every opportunity that he deserves. And um, this turned into something else besides what I originally intended it to be. But I'm just, like... To the point where I'm fed up with, like, all the conversations about child support and, like, it's causing issues between me and my husband now because we're trying to get everything situated. We have to move from this apartment in April to somewhere else. There's a lot of shit going on. Like, I wasn't working for three weeks almost four weeks. It's been a while. Um, and we've been really struggling. Like I said, eating ramen noodles, surviving paycheck to paycheck. We didn't even have enough money to pay rent this month. Like we had to have someone else pay it. So it's just, it's so frustrating. And like, I was so hopeful at the beginning of this marriage that, um, my husband's ex, um, his son's mom, and I were going to get along, but it's like, it's frustrating because I really wanted to have a good relationship with her, and I don't feel like I've done anything to make the relationship not be good, but I feel like there's only so much you can take. And I feel like she kind of blew it out of proportion when she thought that I was being ridiculous. 
about like the fact that they couldn't let us know beforehand like they let us know after we had already left the house and we're on our way to their house <sighs> And all of this shit is happening today, and I have to start my new job tonight. I'm sorry, I kind of just needed to vent and get all these feelings off my chest, so I don't even know if I'm going to post this. But if I did post it, then obviously now you know my feelings and you know what I've been going through the last few days. So, um, thank you for listening, as always. Um, also... I'm trying to decide what I want to do with my hair. Um, when I get my paycheck from my new job, my first paycheck, yes, this fucking bang is irritating the shit out of me. And I had hairspray in my hair, so that's why it looks really dirty. I'm going to wash it before I go to work tonight anyway. But um, I'm going to dye it black, which is my natural hair color. Um... I'm going to dye my hair black. You can see it's like the red dye is growing out of it. But um, I'm going to dye it black. And then I can't decide if I want to um, have them put highlights in it when I go to get this evened out. Because you guys know I had my hair cut like it was shaved on the sides. So if you can see this layer right here, this was where the top was like. From the top this is the shaved part and then you have this part down here that's long I don't know how well you can see that but it's longer down here and then it gets shorter the farther up it goes like it's just it's irritating and I want to have them like even out the length so it grows out evenly because right now it's like long in the back and then like it's shorter up here so I want to have them do it, but I don't know if I want to get highlights or um, what I want to do. So should I get highlights? Should I not get highlights? It's been so long since I've had highlights. But regardless, I want to dye my hair black um, before I do any of that. So anyways, this was just like a rambling video. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for always being super supportive of me. Um wish me luck tonight this is my first day at my facility but my third day with this company um they had us go do training at one of their sister facilities which it's through the same company it's just a different um facility and um see what i mean you have this right here and then this is a whole nother length. I need to get it evened out or something. Put it in a bob, I guess. And then let my hair grow from there. Um, but anyways, that's enough for this video. Sorry for rambling so much. Thank you for watching if you watched this far. Um, and anyways, I will talk to you guys again in my next video.